Hello and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. This is episode 18. Last time we played we were in a toy shop and we are going to continue exploring it. I think there are things to be found in this toy shop. Here we are! I really like this toy shop. I think it's really cool. So we need to use our Witcher senses to look for clues in the toy shop. Right, um, for some reason this is a point of interest here, so let's examine it just very quickly. Okay, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, I can hear like a music box. It sounds good. I guess we have to go back downstairs amongst all the creepy. I think it's actually a little bit creepy in here. It's cool, but it's creepy. Let's see, where do we have to look? So I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Somewhere around here. Use your witcher senses to look for clues. What kind of clues? What kind of clues are we talking? Hopefully I'll find it in a minute. <laughs> oh, what's this? I found something. It was so tiny. How are we supposed to see that? Letters naming the beast's targets. Oh, so now we are going to find out who the beast is targeting. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de Lacroix. Detlef's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. The plot thickens. Who is this mysterious person? See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral pretty much found only in... Nazaire, but I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Alright, we need to remember that they got a special type of ink only found in Nazir and it's stained with wine. So, they could like wine. <laughs> that is really not helpful. Blackmailer, curious about him. Blackmailer, kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis, somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Yeah, it's got to be a vampire or something maybe even higher. Maybe it's something, I don't know, some other being. It could be anything in Witcher. There's so many different monsters. All right, let's sum up what we know. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence, clearly. Hmm, I don't know. Innocence? Really? Untrue? Not how I'd put it. Doubt it's how the Duchess will see it either. I trust you to convince her. And then... What? Go on, don't be shy. See you've got it all figured out, including the grin I gotta wear. It's a rather bold plan, but... Were we to find Renawed, we would strip the blackmailers of their hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? You gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Why do I have a feeling that Detlaf is just going to come in here and kill Rageous? I just have that sinking feeling. He should have let me stay with him. I wanted to stay. Oh, we level. We are now 44, guys. We've done really well on leveling. All right, we need to report to the Duchess. Wine is sacred. That's our new quest. I wouldn't mind seeing the Duchess again. I haven't seen her in quite some time. It would be nice to see her. So I'm just going to run back to the signpost and then we're going to fast travel over to the Duchess. 
Okay, it's around here somewhere. She is around here somewhere. Apparently she's... What? What did that guy say? I didn't know what he said, but all right. It sounded like a grunt or something. I don't know. We need to go up here. In here, is this her palace? Tinted windows. Looks nice. Hmm. I don't think I've ever been in her little palace before. I don't think. No, I don't think I've ever been here. We'll just go above and it looks Double like she might be on the balcony the of some sorts. Here she is. Hopefully she had her dress stitched back together. Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. Oh, she's got a different dress on today. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Um, no. <laughs> Case just got more complicated. Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your Grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. I don't know where you find it. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't even know who this being is, apart from Detlaf. I don't know who the other guy is. There's another guy behind the shadows. But anyway, I think this is really interesting that, you know, the typical way that you kill a vampire, garlic, sunlight, steaks, all that lovely stuff is just completely out of the window and it's like completely realistic for this game, which is really cool. I like that. So stay out of this. Whoa, this is work for a witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. I wouldn't be 40, so sure. Fifty, a hundred, doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? <laughs> How? What creature can do such things? Vampires. Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? Cower! Hide! Run away! <laughs> um, there is no common monster. I don't know if you guys like me doing the optional little dialogues, but I really like to get the most out of Witcher and I like to hear everything that he has to say. So I'm going to do it anyway. It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? No idea. Do you have a plan? Oh, is he actually believing me now? I want to find him. Try to talk to him. Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? 
Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Well, perhaps if we get the woman back, he will stop murdering people. But getting the woman back is another story. <laughs> Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? Why does everybody ask me for the answers? I don't know, lady. Go out and go vampire hunting yourself. I really like your dress, though. You have a nice dress. It's got nice ribbons. And you look simply fabulous. Free the vampire's lover. I'll find the blackmailer. Free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my Really? Friend. You can get a lead off of this? Send for the Duke of Sommelier. Hop, hop! Hop, hop! Get to it! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Erveluz, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? We're actually going to find out who this blackmailer is then. Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Mm. Mm, yes, yes. The noises the he's West making Bank is really the weird. Too. No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. Sans Real, the 1269 vintage. That's. That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello, especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some Sonreal was stolen. We must go to the vineyard, see if there's not been an incident. All right. This specific wine, tell me more. Sonreal, never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. She has a very high opinion of this dude with the uh, glasses and the red outfit. Kind of looks like he's wearing wine. What do you mean, we? Wait, your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. Now she's going to throw a tantrum. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. All right. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, <laughs> Fail. Witcher, are you ready? Need more time. Yeah, not quite. Make um, because I'm going to end the video here for today. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope I see you next time. She, 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 she.
Believe and get to Rose.